Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on the look that you see right here. This look came from the new Alice Through the Looking Glass palette from Urban Decay. And my inspiration for the look was Mad Hatter. So I just did a glam version of his look that they do since that is more theatrical makeup. But I still want to do that same concept and I followed that same color scheme. And I just wanted to make sure that I created something that was very fun, still in that comfort zone because this isn't so bright and out there of course we do have hot pink but it's not all over our lids it's underneath the lash line and it's a pop of color i think that this look is absolutely beautiful please try it if you're not comfortable with trying these colors just put just a little tiny bit just to give it a little bit of extra something that's how i started out so if you guys would like to see how i got this look then please keep watching Using the new Urban Decay Alice Through Looking Glass palette, I'm first going to go in with the shade called Chessboard and I'm going to be using a Sigma E40 brush and I'm going to buff that in my crease as my transition shade. Then I'm going to go in with the shade called Bandersnatch which is a beautiful turquoise blue and I'm going to use a Sigma E55 shader brush. So basically what I had to do with this shade was I had to add color blend add more color blend add more color blend just because this shade was a little bit more on the patchy side as you can see it kind of started to disappear as i was blending so i just had to kind of go back and forth doing that but it helped in the blending process so you're not adding a whole bunch of color then it's hard to blend and you end up looking like you have a bruised eye after I finished up my eyeshadow, I did put on some false lashes and I used the Dodo lashes in the style D208. These are like $5 mink lashes. I do have a discount code for you to get 10% off of your entire purchase. So it is Fab Fabiana, and I will leave the link down in the description box as well as the discount code so that way you can get you some of these because they are beautiful. So I did already prime my skin. I used the Hard Candy Shine Free Primer which also gives a smoothing effect to the skin. And for foundation I'm going to be using the Milani 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. The coverage of this foundation is awesome. Gives such amazing coverage. And then I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm going to be using that with the same Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. And I highlighted the center of my forehead, underneath my eyes, bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, and the chin as usual. Then setting quickly with powder so that way we avoid any type of creasing possible. So now we're going to move on to contouring. So for contouring today I'm going to be using my MAC Sculpting Powder in the shade shade stir with my Kat Von D brush. I love this powder. It is amazing. It gives such a natural looking shadow and the undertone in it is just beautiful. It's just gorgeous. It's such a beautiful powder to contour with. I have been taken by the words that you say Moving on to blush, I'm going to be using Margin and Desert Rose from MAC and I'm just applying that with a Morphe E6 brush and then we're going to move on to my favorite part which is highlighting and I'm going to use Becca Champagne Pop and Moonstone as well and I'm going to be using that with a Morphe M501 brush. Let me show you all the way. Now I am taking the shade Cake which is a beautiful hot pink iridescent color and I'm just smoking that out on my lower lash line with the BH Cosmetics pencil brush and this just made the look super fun, very outgoing and a pop of color. Now I'm using the shade called Tassel from Colourpop and I'm popping that in my inner corner with my finger because I find that that is the way that they work best. Using my NYX lip pencil in the shade Mauve, I am just lining my lips and then I'm going to go in with Mad Hatter lipstick also from the Alice Through the Looking Glass collection and I'm just putting that all over and this is a beautiful purple grape color. So now I am just setting my face with my Mario Badescu rose water and I'm spraying that entirely just to give my face some extra hydration and to mend all the powders together. So this is the completed look. I had so much fun filming this. I think that this look is super, super cool because of all the color, but it's still very wearable. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any video requests, please feel free to let me know, and I will have every product that I use down in the description box. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.